Hoffman Estates was one of the first suburbs that I moved to when I moved out to the northwest suburbs and it was the place where I brought my kids home from the hospital and where I started raising my family. Now, I want to tell you all the amazing highlights of this fabulous, fabulous town. So, first up, Hoffman Estates is about 28 miles from Chicago, which makes it super easy to just jump on a train, take the car, um, or even the bus to get to downtown Chicago. One of the cool things about Hoffman Estates is that it is a little bit more spread out. We have an area that we refer to as North Hoffman Estates, sitting north of the tollway I-90. We have a West Hoffman Estates, which obviously is further west than the majority of the rest of the town. And then they have the regular Hoffman Estates area, which is south of I-90. Currently, Hoffman Estates has just over 50,000 residents and it is mainly located in Cook County with just a small section in Kane County. You may want to know that 76% of people actually own their home in Hoffman Estates with a median average home price of $283,000. Just to compare it, the national average is currently set at $217,000. The remainder, 24% of them, are renting and the median rent is about uh, $1,398, which compared to the national average of $1,062 is definitely more expensive. As of March 2022, we only have 40 homes active and available on the market in Hoffman Estates. When it comes to our schools, they are highly rated and we are the majority of Hoffman feeding into District 15. We also have District 211, uh, District 220, some of it is a portion of District 300 and then U46. One of the schools I probably want to mention a little bit more is Fremd High School, which is considered number 14 of high schools in Illinois. Let's talk about the crime rate. What can you expect moving to Hoffman Estates? Well, the good news is our crime rate is way below the national average. So if you are looking at niche.com, you actually see that Hoffman Estates was voted uh, one of the best places to live. All right, let's wrap up some of those highlights. Outdoor activities. Hoffman Estates is phenomenal when it comes to outdoor activities. You have dog parks that you can uh, join for a small fee. You have parks. The park district is phenomenal. May, uh, golf courses, if you are an avid golfer, you definitely find something here. Recreational, you have so much opportunity from swimming to trails and um, definitely one of the things that we enjoy most is taking some hikes throughout the wonderful trails, throughout the park district, trails, throughout the nature preserves. And one of the favorite ones I want to share with you is Crabtree Nature Center. Crabtree Nature Center is by far the most hidden gem that we have in our area. The children's um, trail is phenomenal. We love coming here. So if you've been wondering where do I go once the weather gets nicer, definitely check out Crabtree Nature Center. Just listen. How amazing. This one here is Crabtree Nature Center and it is absolutely quiet and peaceful and if you've been wondering where do I go for a little hike check out this one they have an awesome kids area too an indoor home awesome classes and so so much more I promise you will love it here just as much as we do and last but not least let's talk about the restaurants there are so many unique and amazing restaurants and one of the nice things is that once you start going to them you get to know the owner it's really a family friendly atmosphere, the owners are amazing, and you will love enjoying a wide, wide variety of different foods right here in Hoffman Estates. So I hope you loved the overview of some of the highlights that you will find in Hoffman Estates. I hope you love, love, love living here as much as I do. And if you've been thinking, should I move to Hoffman Estates? I'd love to connect. My name is Janine Sasso, I'm your local Hoffman Estates real estate agent and I would love to help you discover Hoffman Estates.